Hey, first grade. Today you're gonna get one sheet of paper off of the supply table. You need to put your name on the back, Mr. Calvert. Either 1A, B, or C. At the supply table, I may also have some of these things called color sticks. You're welcome to grab whichever colors you might need. Probably don't need to grab every single one though. You're also welcome to come up and grab these later on if you need to. I'm going to flip it over. And we just took a look at Monty Montgomery's artwork and you notice that he had three different kinds of lines. He had vertical lines, he had diagonal lines, and he had horizontal lines. You are going to be using those three types of lines to divide up your paper and add some patterns using those three lines as well. So I'm going to start off by drawing some of those lines. So I might do some diagonals. I might decide to do a few verticals. I might go into this diagonal and add some more lines. Maybe I'll do this angled line, which is pretty much a bunch of diagonals. Um, I think I'm going to use a peach up here. I might do some, I think I'm going to do some more diagonals. And I think I'm also going to use some horizontals because I haven't done any of those. So notice I'm starting off by just drawing out a bunch of lines. When I'm done filling up my paper with diagonals, horizontals, and verticals, I can go in and I can color this. One thing I recommend when coloring is using different pressures. You might color in some spots very lightly. You might use that same color and press pretty hard. Notice the difference in color. That's a great way to use color. So I think I'm going to use this blue. I'm going to do some of them really dark, some of them very lightly. You don't have to just use one color and use it um, really hard and really light. You can also go ahead and use some different colors. So maybe I'll do some red and maybe I'll use black to go with this red on the other side of my angled line or zigzags. All right, when you are this far, you are finished for today. Remember to start by putting your name on the back. Then you're drawing a bunch of vertical lines, horizontal lines, and diagonal lines. Once I drew those lines, sometimes I added some patterns like this zigzag line, which is pretty much just a bunch of diagonal lines. Notice that I didn't use any curved lines. Sometimes I did verticals and horizontals to make a checkerboard as well. When you're coloring, really focus on using different pressures. Sometimes coloring light for some colors, sometimes pressing really hard. All right, so when you're finished, these can go in the drying rack. Please make sure to clean up after yourself.